Does Jamal Hill have the skills to actually beat Alex Pereira? Well, today we're going to answer that question. First off, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the striking. Obviously, Alex Pereira has done more with his striking, you know, having great performances against an other great fighters in the UFC with his striking. Uh, something that I want to mention very quickly is the fact that I also believe that Jamal Hill has very, very good striking. Not, not as good at, at, as Alex Pereira. That's not at all what I'm trying to say. But I am trying to say that there's a lot of people right now that are overlooking Jamal Hill striking. And I think that that's a mistake. Um, I think that Jamal Hill does a lot of great things when it comes to his striking. He's very, very good at buying himself time. And I think that he's very, very good at knowing what shots are going to or what shots have the higher probability or a higher percentage at landing. I think that Jamal Hill is actually very, very smart with his striking. Um, obviously, you know, Pereira is known more for his striking. And I think that he understands positions um, a lot better uh, than Jamal Hill or he's more versed in his positionings and his system whenever it comes to striking than Jamal Hill but I think that Jamal Hill striking is severely overlooked and in my opinion underrated and I think that that is criminal 100% but I think it's important for us to mention you know uh, some of these things right because if I don't mention that Alex Pereira has done more with his striking there's going to be a whole lot of Chama fanboys in the comments that are going to try to call me out for it but uh just something that I want to mention very very quickly before we move forward now unfortunately this isn't a kickboxing fight this isn't a striking fight if that were the case I'd obviously be saying that Alex Pereira is going to wipe the floor with Jamal's Hill's face but unfortunately this is an MMA fight this is an MMA fight, and there's other factors that I think that are pretty important to talk about, like the fact that uh, grappling and wrestling are a thing in MMA. And uh, we saw it against John Blahovich. Alex Pereira found himself in some pretty bad positions, and those positions were whenever Alex Pereira was forced to defend himself. I'm going to say it again. Whenever Alex Pereira was forced to defend himself um, from letting his opponent advance in certain positions in the grappling and wrestling, that's whenever we saw Alex Pereira at his worst in MMA, 100%, without a doubt, there is no debate. Uh, John Blahovich was able to control Alex Pereira for a large majority of that time. Now, that was a three-round fight. I'm not saying that Jamal Hill is a Jamal Nomagomedov Nomar by any extent, but I think that Jamal Hill is a lot better burst whenever it comes to grappling and wrestling. And um, I think that pretty much Alex Pereira is a fighter who predominantly doesn't look for these uh, positions wherever he's trying to take down his opponent i think that he is a lot more comfortable striking and striking is what we're probably most likely going to see alex Pereira try to do the entire fight if and only if if jamal hill doesn't look for some of these grappling and wrestling exchanges i mean we can sit here and talk about striking and wrestling and grappling all day but i think a bigger factor that we need to talk about is the fact that jamal hill is coming back from a terrible injury let's not forget that Jamal Hill had to relinquish his title because he had an ACL tear. And that's never a good thing. Anything that involves injuring your base, right, is never a good thing. Whether you tell your MCL, ACL, meniscus, it's all bad whenever you come back from it. And uh, there's some fighters, no, no, no. There's some athletes, period, that just don't come back looking, performing, or even walking around the same way, right? And uh, that's going to be night. That's gonna be just a nightmare if we see that from Jamal Hill. I mean, we can sit here and talk about striking and wrestling positions all day, but until we see how Jamal Hill is looking in the first round, I mean, all we can sit here is just hope that uh, Jamal Hill is completely healed from that freak of an injury. Now, if we see a healthy Jamal Hill, I think that he has the edge in this fight. I give him the edge in this fight. And that's just me being completely honest. After all the film studying that I've been doing these past couple of days on both of these guys, um, I feel like Jamal Hill definitely has the edge if he comes back healthy. But that's if he comes back healthy. Like I said, I think that right now Alex Pereira has all the momentum going on for him in his career currently. So I wouldn't be surprised if he wins either. Now, I have a couple questions that I want to ask you guys, right? And answer them down in the comment section below. Number one. Who are you guys rooting for? Is it Alex Pereira or is it Jamal Hill? The next question is, do you guys believe that a lot of people are overlooking the abilities of Jamal Hill? Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As always, it's a pleasure talking to each and every single one of you guys. Peace out and uh, have a good one.